Welcome to another video of the Uncommon Corner. Subscribe to be notified when we upload some videos. In this video we will be talking about the biggest historical mystery that will probably never be solved. A young man in 1855 believed he had found the original pieces of the Ten Commandments owned by Moses. But little did he know that experts would not believe a thing he said. The experts even suggested that the piece was fake. A biblical text dismissed as a forgery in the 19th century is not only authentic but is actually a predecessor to the book of Deuteronomy, a scholar now says. Not everyone agrees. The book of Deuteronomy describes some of the events in Israel's early history and tells of several laws passed down by God, including the Ten Commandments. Many scholars believe that the book of Deuteronomy was written around 2,700 years ago. This text would date back earlier. The claim has generated a considerable amount of media attention, including a lengthy article in the New York Times. However, most scholars contacted by Live Science expressed doubts, saying they think the text is in fact a forgery. The text was written in Paleo Hebrew on 16 leather fragments. In 1883, Moses Wilhelm Schapra, an antiquities dealer based in Jerusalem, brought the text to Europe. He showed it to a committee of scholars in Germany, who dismissed it as a fake. Schapra then travelled to Britain where he offered to sell the fragments to the British Museum for £1 million. An expert working for the museum also dismissed it as a forgery, declining the offer. The next year, in 1884, Schapra died by suicide in the Netherlands. After Schapra's death, his widow sold the text to a bookseller named Bernard Quaritch, and its whereabouts has been lost since around the year 1900. But a number of handwritten copies of the text survive today. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. If you find this content interesting please don't forget to subscribe to be notified every time we upload.